हाय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठवाडा युनिव्हर्सिटी नांदेड महाराष्ट्र अँड टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस इट्स सिलेबस अँड कोर्स ऑफ एम ए इंग्लिश अँड वील ऑल्सो अंडरस्टँड द टीचिंग स्कीम ऑफ ए पेपर अँड इट्स एक्झामिनेशन स्कीम अँड वॉट इज द सिलेबस फॉर पर्टिक्युलर पेपर इन दी प्रिवियस व्हिडिओ वी ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट द कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर द होल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दी पी जी प्रोग्राम और एम ए इन इंग्लिश इन स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठवाडा युनिव्हर्सिटी ॲज पर नॅशनल एज्युकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो टुडे वी हॅव ए पेपर कॉल्ड फोनेटिक्स अँड फोनॉलॉजी अँड वील डिस्कस दी कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर और द पेपर स्ट्रक्चर अँड इट्स सिलेबस सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टँड वॉट इज दिअर इन दी सिलेबस अँड हाऊ द कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर इज डिझाईन्ड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्रेडिट्स आर गिव्हन टू दिस पेपर सो हिअर वी हॅव मेजर कोर्स और मेजर पेपर डिसिप्लिन स्पेसिफिक कोर्स अँड इन डिसिप्लिन स्पेसिफिक कोर्स वी हॅव द कोर्स फोनेटिक्स अँड फोनॉलॉजी ऑफ इंग्लिश अँड हिअर द कोड इज एच ई एन जी सी फायव्ह नॉट वन अँड वी हॅव फोर आवर्स ऑफ टीचिंग पर वीक इफ यू लुक ॲट द टीचिंग स्कीम दिस इज द टीचिंग स्कीम ऑफ द पेपर दिज आर द फोर आवर्स ऑफ टीचिंग और फोर लेक्चर्स यू हॅव टू अटेंड टू कम्प्लीट द सिलेबस अँड देन वी हॅव फोर क्रेडिट्स गिव्हन टू दिस course or to this paper and here we have examination scheme and in examination scheme you will see that uh, this examination scheme is split 20% is given to continuous assessment and 80% uh, given to the end semester exam in 20% assessment you will find that there are two tests test 1 and test 2 and each test carries 20 marks here and you have to complete the assignment of 20 marks and then the aggregate is made and here uh, this 60 marks is converted into 20 marks and here you see the 80 marks are for end semester exam and the paper is of 100 marks the total 100 marks we can see so this is the teaching scheme and examination scheme i hope you understand now let's understand uh, the very syllabus or the core topics included in this uh, paper phonetics and phonology here uh, there are uh, five units in this paper and each unit uh, has 12 hours of teaching here uh, you can see uh, you have to attend uh, to complete this unit 12 hours of teaching so 12 hours of teaching is given or we can say that we have to complete 12 hours of teaching to complete this syllabus so here we have very first module 1.0 unit first concepts in language and in the very first point we have the concept called what is language so in this point we will understand the meaning of language and the very uh, definition some of the definitions of language here again in the next point we have nature of language and its definition so different types of definitions and uh, the nature of language its characteristics or features we will consider in this point in the third point we will have language as a system of communication why do humans use language we use language for communication the major function of language is communication so we will discuss that communication in this point uh, the next or last point in this unit is characteristics of language so what are the features of language how does language form or uh, what is the basic of language and we will also differentiate between animal and human communication or animal and human language so what is the difference between these two communication systems will be the point of discussion in the fourth uh, point so this is first unit it is a very basic unit or we can say that it's a background unit let's move to the next unit unit second or module 2.0 and here we have varieties of english so we will discuss different types of things in this second unit for example in the first point what is dialect we will consider dialect uh, in the second point we will have variations or dialectical variations how uh, there are difference between the same language spoken in the different area for example we have uh, regional british american uh, then indian australian african different types of english as people use or what is the geographical impact on those people who are using the other language for example indians use english so what is the difference between british and indian english or if you uh, find that in british english there are uh, major two dialects for example cockney dialect and uh, again 
ब्रिटिश आर पी और रिसीव्ड प्रोनाउंसिएशन सो इफ यू गो टू लंडन देयर यू विल फाइंड दिस टू डायलेक्ट्स इन हर एंड सो हाउ दिस डिफरेंस इज मार्क्ड इन द लैंग्वेज वी विल कंसिडर इन दिस पॉइंट देन वी हैव थर्ड पॉइंट इन द सेकेंड यूनिट रजिस्टर सो वॉट इज रजिस्टर डेफिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर और मीनिंग ऑफ रजिस्टर वी विल कंसिडर एंड इन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल कंसिडर द रजिस्ट्रल वेरिएशन सो रजिस्टर इज दैट दैट टाइप ऑफ लैंग्वेज यूज इन पर्टिक्युलर सेक्टर इन पर्टिक्युलर फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल जर्नलिज्म बिजनेस लॉ साइंस देन वी हैव एग्रीकल्चर रिलीजन एजुकेशन क्रिटिसिजम पॉलिटिक्स एट्सेट्रा वी विल ऑल्सो कंसिडर फॉर्मल एंड इन फॉर्मल इंग्लिश सो इंग्लिश यूज इन ऑफिस इंग्लिश यूज एट होम सो दिस इज फॉर्मल एंड इन फॉर्मल डिफरेंस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड थ्रू दिस पॉइंट सो हाउ लैंग्वेज इज यूज इन डिफरेंट फील्ड्स विल वन द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इन दिस फोर्थ और सेकेंड यूनिट नाउ वी हैव थर्ड यूनिट इन द थर्ड यूनिट वी हैव हेयर बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन इंग्लिश फोनोलॉजी सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग डीप इन द स्टडी ऑफ लैंग्वेज सो वी विल कंसिडर फोनोलॉजी इन दिस यूनिट नाउ वुड इज देयर डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन लेटर्स एंड साउंड सो दिस विल बी a very important part of the language so we will consider letters and sounds in the next point uh, two we will consider phonetics and phonology so phonemes what are phonemes and what are allophones uh, then so this is uh, the we can say that uh, deep dive into the study of language phonetics and phonology so what is phonetics what is phonology or how does sound system form how many sounds are there in english all these things we will consider in this point now in the 3.3 in third unit we will consider organs of speech which organs contribute in producing sound or producing speech we will consider in this point in the next point we have speech sounds of british rp now as we have already mentioned rp so rp is nothing but received pronunciation means the most standard dialect of english language or we can say that the scientific dialect of english language british rp or received pronunciation which is considered the language bbc uses is british rp for your kind information uh, now we have module uh, 4.0 and unit 4 the sounds of english and transcription so we will uh consider the transcription and sounds of english in this unit in 4.1 description of consonant here we have pure vowels and then diphthongs so we will differentiate between the sounds of english as there are 44 sounds in english so how this 44 sounds can be divided in different uh, parts like how many consonants are there how many pure vowels are there how many diphthongs are there how many triphthongs also are there we will consider in 4.1 in 4.2 uh, we have the syllable and its structure what is the structure of syllable or what is syllables and its structure then 4.3 phonetic transcription so this is also an important part of language uh, phonetic transcription so we will transcribe the sentences or how sounds are produced and how these sounds can be transcribed to say for example the spelling and uh, the transcription is different so we will consider transcription in this point and the last point here we have in fourth unit word accent how uh, do words form accent or when we talk how we stress on particular syllables how we stress on particular word Uh, we will consider it in word accent 4.4 and now here we have last unit that is stress and intonation so this is also a very important part of language in stress and intonation we understand the meaning if a person uh, stresses on particular word then the meaning changes so this kind of things we will consider in stress and intonation how intonation falls or how stress is given on particular word or how what is the function of stress in 5.1 we will consider the features of connected speech connected speech cluster different types of uh, speech mechanisms we will understand uh, in this of 5.1 5.2 accent and rhythm in connected speech so what is the function of accent and rhythm or how this is connected or what is the basic uh, we can say that qualities of connected speech we will consider in this uh, part 5.3 elision and assimilation these two terms uh, have gained uh, we can say that uh, a very uh, much importance in the 
language study so what is elimination and assimilation we will consider in this point and the last point of the last unit is international intelligibility of indian english now indian english has gained popularity all over the world and we will consider the features of indian english and how indians are using english so if you look at here you will find that 12 hours of teaching is important to complete the each unit so each unit has uh, 12 hours of teaching or 12 lectures you have to complete and total there are 60 lectures for this paper if you want to complete the paper you need to attend 60 lectures or 60 uh, hours of teaching is required to complete this all syllabus now uh, i think uh, you understand this syllabus now let's understand a few reference books here i have listed a few reference books for you and all these books are very important if you want to study this paper please go through or consult all these books these books are uh, based on the syllabus so here we have very first book a textbook of uh, uh, english phonetics for indian students it is composed by or written by t bala subramaniam then we have spoken english which is very uh, famous book uh, uh, on the language study or on phonetics uh, it is written by bunsell and harrison so a very popular book another popular book we have a course in phonetics and spoken english uh, written by ct and damija this is also a very popular book so you can consult this book might be available in your library then we have study of language by george yule this book also gives you the framework of the language english language it's a dialect variety different types of things are discussed in this book then we have a dictionary cambridge english pronouncing dictionary it is edited by daniel jones so this dictionary also might be available in your library so consult this dictionary time to time then we have gd ochner's better english pronunciation this is also a very famous book uh, published by cambridge then we have modern linguistics and introduction by verma and krishna swami and the last book we have peter Roche's a practical course in english phonetics and phonology so all these books are important if you want to cover uh, the entire syllabus so these are very simple uh, books written in simple language if you consult them you will understand the very core of the english language or you will study better english language with the help of all these books whatever tutorials or videos we are going to make we will use all these books i have all these books in my library personal library so i will use or i will teach from all these books so i hope you understand the syllabus from next video we will uh, continue with uh, the videos on the particular syllabus so thank you very much for watching let's meet in the next video